how camp's going for you. Um, camp going well, you know. Um, just showing up, putting one foot in front of the other one every day, you know. And each day I'm learning something new from coaches and from older um, vets in the room, you know, and um, just taking day by day. Uh, mentioned yesterday that you're always telling them that you want to go against the first team. You said you got to calm down, you're still a rookie or whatever, but today you got a chance to, to go against those guys. Like, How much is that a part of your personality, wanting to like go against the best, and how would you feel like you did? Um, it, it's just the um, fire and the competitive um, inside of me, and I think every DB got the same you know, fire underneath their butt you know, in the room. Everybody know, you know we're a deep group, so everybody looking for that one opportunity. You know, and um, every day I just show up and take advantage of whatever opportunity I get. You know, I'm definitely in coach here, like, coach, I'm ready. You know, whenever my moment comes, I'm definitely going to take advantage of it. Take us through that interception. Take us through that interception. Like, what were you, what you, what do you make of that? What were you thinking on that front? Um, mainly I was just thinking, you know, read the low hip, and then as soon as you cross the hash, just turn the jets on and undercut it and go with the ball. You know, it's something we go over and film every day on the deep over routes and stuff like that because we going to, you know, show up and show getting guys face and play man. So you just got to do what Coach say and you come out with a reward. For Darius, given the personalities in the secondary in the DB room, do you think you need to be as, you know, vocal and confident as you are that if you, if you go out there and you're quiet, you kind of get swallowed up with all those big guys? Oh, um, you definitely. I feel like, you know, in this game, in this high, um, high league that we play in, you know, you definitely got to go out there and show guys that you're not scared. You know, you go out there quiet like a mouse, they're going to feel like they got the upper hand on you. So I'm definitely going out there, even though I'm a rookie, you know, I'm showing them, like, man, you got to beat me at the end of the day. A lot of guys say, you know, uh, the J J Jabril interception to Shepard. Did you get a hand on that pass? Yes, sir. All right, I thought so. I wasn't sure. Thank you. A lot of guys say as rookies, you know, they're kind of spinning. You know, then things are just moving really fast. I'm, how do you feel? Um, I'm definitely not where I want to be, you know, but um, we definitely taking each day at a time, you know, and getting better. You know, each day I go in film room and um, I don't watch, you know, good plays. I watch every play that my technique is bad and stuff like that. Just mental errors, you know, um, just learning from James and learning from Adori. Small technique issues that I'm working on every day. What did you think when you found out that you guys were going to be spending a few days going against Cleveland? Um, it was awesome, man. This is going to be my first time actually getting to see my brother, you know, and um, I'm really excited to get up there with him, you know, and just watch the work that he put in, you know, and definitely going to be learning from him some more, you know, and just trying to take my game as far as I can. When was the last time you guys were on the same field? Were you guys high school teammates? Oh, um, yeah, since high school. Definitely, like, off-season training like that, but definitely going to be a thrill to see him, you know, in the field. What was off-season training? Like, did you guys get together? Like, since you got drafted, you guys... Yeah, training. yeah, yeah. We train together every off season, you know, just working with each other, you know, and staying out the way. You gonna give uh, your receivers some tips on how to be be greedy? Um, <laughs> no, you know, it's forever with the Giants, you know, but <laughs> but we'll deal with that later. Are you going to ask Coach to play offense for a play? <laughs> uh, I, ain't, I ain't moved up the truck that far, but um, definitely, man, I'm enjoying this process, man. I'm I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy that the Giants gave me this opportunity, you know, and every day just put one foot in front of the other. Have you guys, like, have you and Greedy, like, you know, talk smack about whose team is better, any of that, like, ingest kind of stuff? Oh, yeah, we definitely going to talk stuff every day. You know, even right now in camp, you know, I'm letting them know, like, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to tell them about today? Oh, he, he already know what, what's coming. <laughs> he already know. Yeah, but um, it's definitely good to have a brother over there. You know, um, everybody know, you know, Greedy is going to make plays. You know, now it's my turn. You know, it's simple as that. Is there a part of you that has a six-round pick that does feel like you have to come out here and prove yourself? Um, I feel like, you know, even if I was a first-rounder, you know, I'm same mentality, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's me versus me. I'm the only person who control what I do on the field. So, you know, every day just put one foot in front of the other. You ever have the urge, you know, Greedy is kind of that name that jumps off the page. Yeah. Do you ever have the urge to kind of pick up one on your own? Oh, yeah, yeah. We definitely moving in the right direction right now, you know. Um, but I'm proud of all the success that he had, you know. And like I said, you know, I'm in a new platform now. You know, and all I can do is just go go up from here. What's your nickname? Um, I, I ain't got one yet, you know, but we all in the room working on some, come up, some, some fly. <laughs> you sure you want to leave it to those guys to come up with a nickname um, for you? Oh, yeah, I trust those guys. I feel like they're going to give me something that's going to be kind of swaggy. <laughs> just don't let it be generous. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Did your mom think you were a better corner than Greedy? Um, I don't know. That's a tough question. You know, I feel like you just have to ask her about it. She'd probably say both of those guys are my babies. <laughs> <laughs>